Okay guys, I could not get the wyvern to appear. I tried, I tried, I tried. I could not get the wyvern to appear. But look, I found the unicorn outfit and this guy is ruining the mo- On this episode, another solar apocalypse happened and look. Broken hero sword, broken hero swords all around. We got three broken hero swords. And we've got an Excalibur. So let's go to the demon altar and see what we can concoct. So unicorn, please get out of our way. Because we are going to the demon altar of... Make some awesomeness. I don't know how powerful it's going to be, but I, I, I've got a feeling that tonight's going to be a good night. Oh wow, we're getting a bit of lag. Uh, I don't know why we're getting lag. Wait, why can't I make the true Excalibur? Well, I can see what this broken Batwing does as well, because I got one of those during the Solar Apocalypse. And I don't know what that does. Werewolf, get out of here. We need to see how to make the ultimate weapon. Guide. Crafting. I have Excalibur. What do I need? Excalibur. Broken Hero Sword. Mithril or Auric Chalcom... Oh, okay, it's a Mithril Anvil. Sorry, sorry. I thought it was somewhere else. And then how do I make the Terror Blade? Uh, and a Broken Hero Sword. Mithril Anvil. Okay, cool. That's cool. And while we're here, what do Broken Bat Wings do? You can make... Real bat wings. Bat wings allows flight and slow fall. Twenty souls of flight and a bat wing. Okay. Well, we have the broken bat wing. We just need some souls of flight, and that will be pretty okay. Cause wow, it shoots out like. So it's the same as the true knight's edge. If anything hits you, then they're gonna get wrecked by the sword. And rather than shooting out fiery swords of death, it shoots out like. Swords of Light. It's kind of like the... Actually, it is the Master Sword, really, isn't it? Let's just say that. Because it's shooting out laser beam laser beam swords like the Master Sword. I have the Master Sword! But that doesn't matter, because we've got the other two. So let's make the Terror Blade! Oh my gosh, 93. Oh, shameful. Oh, that's balls! Fuck you for giving me such a shit enchantment! Oh, that's, that's balls. Alright, well, you know what. Fair enough. Fair enough, if that's what you want to do. We'll take some gold. We'll go give the gold to the Goblin Tinker, and we'll get something that isn't a shameful Terror Blade. Okay, Goblin Tinker, reforge the Terror Blade, because that is balls. 31 gold, oh my god, but you know what, fair enough. Heavy Terror Blade, no. God, I'll do it again. 53. Zealous. I guess Zealous will do. There we go. So now the Terror Blade is at 93 melee damage. So, yeah. That will hit. That will hit hard. And look at... It just shoots a thousand missiles as well. So, Wyvern is going down. And as for the... Twins, I've been making a special chest. Look at all them cursed bullets. So many cursed bullets. I don't think we're going to have any issue taking down the, uh, taking down anything. You know what? How about we test this? Let's put the, uh, what can we put away? Um, let's just dump some stuff in this chest, okay? So let's dump the cat ears in the chest. Let's dump these, let's dump the bat wings, let's dump all this into the chest. And let's test the ultimate weapon. So, we'll put all this away, put this away, put this away, put this up here. And we're going to go kill the queen bee again. or Because I've killed her once, you saw the, that on camera. So let's go kill the queen bee a second time. So we'll just collect all the ingredients required for crafting the queen bee summoning item. And then we'll see how strong it is against the uh, the Queen Bee. So let's just go down here to the Demon Altar and make the summoning tool. 
Abomination. Yes, please. And we'll just pop that there. And then you can only summon her in the jungle, which I found out. So we'll just save this world. Single player ourselves as Draeger into Flick's Hive because the jungle is right next to the spawn point. <coughs> Select the world load. Come on. Come on. Come on. Load. And then we will pop ourselves over to the left into the jungle and we'll see how much the ultimate weapon does. So let's just drop down. Down, down, down. Into this little area here. Abomination, Queen Bee has awoken. That did 200 from what I saw on her first pass. I needed to stand still, really, so we can see the true the true damage of this thing. There we go. 166, 74. Whoa, she's already at half health. Oh my god, she's already at quarter health. Is d is she dead? I think she's got like one HP left. She's got, like, one HP left, I think. Yep, no HP. So that is, uh... I think that's a pretty damn good weapon. All we have to do, really, and the Queen Bee is dead. So, can I get all of the sweet goodness that the Queen Bee has dropped? Did I pick everything up? Uh, yep, we got Bee Hat. Honeycomb material. That's new. I've never picked that up before. Uh, do we get anything else? We got jars of honey. Um, vampire pants, they're not from the Queen Bee. So, I'm interested to see what Honeycomb does just before we leave. Uh, I'll get, I'll get, uh, uh, oh god, don't drop it, don't drop it. I was gonna say, I'll, oh god, should I get Hive now? Because the Hive's just there. I'll get that later, because the episode's been running long enough. I'll get that later. Let's just see what this honeycomb does, because I've never had the honeycomb. So let's get back to Drago's Kingdom, and we'll end the episode finding out what the honeycomb does. Holding the terror blade. The blade of terror and doom! Which we will use to slay the twins once and for all, because they've been killing me a lot. Because literally off screen, Every night is a terrible night and the twins always spawn and it's like sometimes I don't even care It's like yeah, I know you're gonna kill me. So I'm just gonna like organize my stuff I'm just gonna put stuff in chests while you slowly kill me because you are assholes twins You're assholes, but anyway, we have spawned in Dragus kingdom So let us go and find out What the honeycomb makes as it is a material so let's pop over here to the guide and we're getting a bit of lag so that is definitely a reason to stop guide I have a new item what does the honeycomb make a bee clock oh a bee cloak causes stars to fall and release bees when injured okay that's pretty cool and the sweetheart necklace releases bees and increases movement speed when damaged Hmm. You know what? I think I like the idea of the bee cloak, and we have one of Trixie's capes, so why don't we go and combine uh, Trixie's purple star cape thing with the, uh, the honeycomb. So let's just go down and grab a cape. Ah, uh, it must be made at a tinker's bench, because it's two tinkering materials, so I'm going to assume it's tinker's bench. So we'll just make that, and then we'll end off. Give, give me the cape. There we go. And then we'll go up and make this shit. Fairy get out of the way. So it has to be a tinker's bench. Um, where is it? Where is it? It must be at the bottom. No. Or is this because I've got all of this iron? Yep, there is. The bee cloak. Ooh, that looks nice. Causes stars to fall and releases bees. That'd be pretty good for the twins because the twins are going to damage us a lot. What can we get rid of? 
Uh, <coughs> slowly regenerates life. I think I kind of need that. I definitely need the shield. Tough call, tough call, but that's for later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode now. And I'm going to go around sorting out all of my inventory. I'm going to be gathering more coins for uh, bullets to make cursed bullets for the fight against the twins. Because literally, by the end of this, that chest up here is going to be full. Like, this entire chest is going to be filled to the brim with cursed bullets. So that we can just continuously curse bullet the... Uh, twins to death. Speaking of which, I just realized I also had 99 um, bullets myself, so why don't we pick up some cursed fire and actually make some more cursed bullets as well, just as a quick ender. So, spin upwards on our crafting guide thing table. <laughs> the Terror Blade just shot a laser for no reason, that's pretty nice. And where are the cursed bullets? There they are. So let's make another batch of those. And there's a 50. And then boop. And then boop. And this cursed bullet is one on its own. Because we always have one spare. But that one spare is stacking up. Because we now have 18 spare. And then these cursed bullets can go here. And we'll just continue to get more cursed bullets. So I will see all of you in the next one when we will hopefully get the wyvern to spawn. I will somehow make him spawn. The worst thing is, like, he spawns at random. It's like, we could go up there now. So we could just say, oh yeah, we're just flying over to the, to the tower because we've got all these people in the tower. We're still waiting for Pinkie Pie to appear. I don't know why she hasn't yet. And we could go up here and when we get onto the top, maybe he'll spawn? It's like, Wyvern, you're going to spawn? We're up, on, we're up in the clouds, we're up in your dimension, because this is where you spawned last time. And sometimes he does. And as you can see this time, he doesn't. So, I don't know how we're going to make the Wyvern spawn, but we will. I'm going to start the next episode saying, Hey, look, I made him spawn, now we start the next episode, we're going to fight him by. So, yeah. I will see all of you in the next one, where we will be fighting the Wyvern from the get-go, because I'll have made him spawn before I start the actual video. So, see you next time. Let's just kill this harpy lady and claim her feathers as our own. So, see you later.